The Downtown Albany Business Improvement District has really focused on um, creating a sense of place in, in downtown. Who are we? We're a capital city, and so we are deserving of amenities that match a capital city. Streetscape uh, and infrastructure is critical to the redevelopment of any city. Um, it's the welcome mat to our city. It's really sort of the front door of how we welcome um, our guests. The Business Improvement District is, uh, in the next 12 months, putting in about $100,000 of investment into uh, streetscape and infrastructure. Something as simple as replacing all of the garbage cans in downtown will have a huge impact on the, visual, um, the visuals that people see and experience in our downtown. The type of talent that I'm trying to attract is young, innovative, outside of the box thinkers, and they don't want to go to a place that is that doesn't match that personality type. And so that was the, the feeling and the vibe that I get from Albany right now is that Albany is uh, on the cusp or we're, we're right at the tipping point of something really great. And it's a, it's a beautiful, historic, and exciting area to run a business. And the talent that we bring in, that's exactly what they want. That's what they look for. Well, again, even those, those little touches that, uh, that we're talking about, whether it's, uh, it's streetscape issues and, and lighting and walkways, those are the types of things that the talent that we're looking to attract, they care about. They want that walkable, exciting city. It's about giving um, a place its voice. We've begun some of this work. Uh, at the museum, working with the museum, the State University, and the BID and others, we've brought together scholars and artists and designers around the city uh, to begin telling the history of Albany on the streets. We've sort of turned the museum inside out. Uh, we're working at uh, one of the visitor experience, so when they come around, they get a sense of the history of all. I think where uh, we've really focused the business improvement district in the last year is um, taking, having the level of amenities match the level of investment that's happening in downtown. So when you have uh, 100 to 200 new units, uh, residential units coming online, um, you have the renovation of the Palace Theater, a $65 million renovation that will double the number of nights in downtown. Um, the convention center that opened that's bringing over 80,000 people to downtown. Um, it is critical that uh, the streetscape, the infrastructure, uh, that our streets are vibrant, that they match that level of investment that's currently taking place. We have um, these, what we're deeming, connected corridors, you know, uh, side streets that for all intents and purposes are loading, loading docks, loading zones, and have been back alleys, but now because of the investment that's taking place in downtown has become a main corridor. And so now the infrastructure, that streetscape, needs to match um, that investment that's happening. We need to make sure that people have an easy way to get there, that their experience um, is, is uh, one that they enjoy, and that they can then tell their friends about that they'll want to come again and again.